My name is Vicky Tan. My, uh, my, my, uh, my father was a colonel in the military during World War II. He fought side by side, and then he was given a Medal of Honor by General MacArthur after the war. Every time we have this commemoration, it hurts my feeling. It reminds me of my uncle too. He was at death march. He, he died at the death march. And then I would, I would assume I'm the, the descendant of my father. And then, uh, well, I salute all the veterans for their endurances, hard work, sacrifices for the sake of freedom. And may God bless all of them. Wade Hedgecoat. Okay. I was uh, the assistant adjutant general of the New Mexico Guard. But the truth of the matter is, uh, I was battalion commander of the second and battalion commander of the first battalions. We were all part of the 200th, which was on the Baton Death March. And I had a personal experience in Sequoia. I went to ask, uh, I was a young man there that I wanted to join the guard, and I went over knocked on your door, your mother comes to the door, and I said, I'd like to talk to you about your son joining the guard. She said, oh no. She said, my husband was in the guard, and he made us on the baton death march, and he didn't make it back. Mm -hmm. so you cannot get, talk him into joining. So those people paid a, a tremendous price, and some of them are still paying the price for what they did for us. And I'm so grateful. Uh, I wish that we could all do something like that. Digna Abad. Well, I'm so honored that I'm invited to sing the Philippine National Anthem here in this event. And this is very uh, important to us Filipinos because uh, it gives us a commemoration about what happened during the war in our country. Because, you know, Americans really helped Filipinos have their, their independence, their freedom. So um, this is very, you know, important to us Filipinos. This event is really very important. Yeah. My name is John Schertz. Well, I, it's an opportunity to remember the sacrifice that my grandfather made and my, and I also had an uncle who survived and came back. So this is both a memorial for those that died and those that returned and the impact that that, that series of events and that period of, of history had on them is profound and it's not only profound for them as individuals as as we now see there are a lot more descendants and a lot more uh, relatives of the men who were over there than there are survivors anymore so many of them have died off but it left its impact not only on those people and their descendants but on the state of new mexico because such a large number uh, of new mexicans served in baton and uh, we're, we're prisoners of war for, for that three-year period. So uh, it's, it's a, I think the, the impact goes well beyond the people who come out to, to commemorate it. It's, uh, it's an impact that the whole state really would do well to remember, and, and uh, it's, it's a special thing to be a part of.